Welcome to the 359. I'm Roger Chang. I'm Ben Fox Rubin. Another day, another iPhone rumor. The latest is about the name of the jumbo sized version of the next flagship phone. It's supposedly going to be called the iPhone 10s Max. Not not plus, Max. I love it. It's so bad. <laughs> Look, whatever. We complain about this stuff all the time, and then it becomes like pretty normal after right, a couple months. Right. So I mean, we did. I remember whatever. we made we made a lot of fun of the the, I, the iPad when it first came out. The iPad, the AirPods, how AirPods. they looked. The iPhone X too. We called it the iPhone X for I a know. long time. Well, this one's gonna be really confusing because it's the iPhone XS. They're gonna pronounce it this way: the iPhone XS Max. That's a lot of X's. It's such a stupid name, but who cares? Apple is worth more than a trillion dollars. What do they care what we have to say? That's true. People are still going to buy it. Are you uh, Are you keen on... You're an Android guy now. Are you keen on these new iPhones at all? Or? So if they actually have a cheaper version yeah. of this iPhone, I would consider going back. You okay. know, the big problem was is that they're offering the iPhone 8 for more money, and it wasn't that much nicer. Right. It was no different than the iPhone 6, so... Uh, it looks like they're doing a full refresh with the three iPhones right. this time around, so we'll see. We'll see. All right, uh, lots and lots of Amazon news. Uh, there, it's been a com- busy couple of days. The company briefly hit a trillion dollar valuation on Tuesday, uh, but yesterday a lot of people were pulling their hair because they suffered a an outage, a search outage. Yeah, you couldn't you couldn't buy your diapers or toilet paper, which is what all is, which is the only thing I buy on Amazon. So this one's interesting because it comes after they had a really bad outage during yep. Prime Day. Yep. And the Prime Day one made sense to me in that there was just a flood of traffic that was coming into Amazon. So it made sense that it would get messed up then. But this was just a random day in September. So right. is this going to be a problem for them going into the holidays? I mean, for for their sake, they should certainly hope not. Because every single time their site's down, they're going to, like, they lose millions oh, yeah. of dollars. Like, I don't know, a minute, an hour? I'm not sure. sure. Uh, lastly, there is the uh, Bernie Sanders Mm -hmm. His uh, latest Stop Bezos Act. Bezos actually stands for Bad Employers by Zeroing Out Subsidies. Oh, it's a great name. Bad Employers by Zeroing Out Subsidies Act. Uh, I have to wonder how much time he spent on that name. Um, (laughs) What it does basically is require big companies like Amazon and Walmart to pay the government for any food stamps, public housing, Medicaid, or other assistance programs that its employees use because they're not making enough money at those companies. Right. What do you think? So uh, Sanders has been hammering Amazon for um, well over a month now about this issue. And um, there's there's a lot to be considered here from Amazon's perspective. They say that, yes, there are people that use Snap, which is the new name for food stamps. Yep. But a lot of them are part time or were just temporarily working at Amazon. So obviously they would be eligible for these types of programs. Um, also, they have warehouse workers who obviously get paid a lot less than, right. you know, a tech worker in an office. So there's it's it's from their perspective. That's interesting. But I think Bernie Sanders is definitely going to keep hammering this issue. So oh, yeah. watch this out is, for that. This is not going to end soon. Uh, lastly, we just wanted to uh, you know drop a tease there. We got a first look at the, the new Captain Marvel uh, mm-hmm. played by Brie Larson. Uh, she will be playing the first. Uh, female superhero lead in a Marvel movie, so it's a big milestone, just like Black Panther was for the African American community this year. Uh, you know, people are looking at Captain Marvel for sort of you know female empowerment for next year. It's not coming out for a while, but I think what we're seeing so far is uh, pretty intriguing stuff. If it does even half as well as Black Panther, I'm sure they will be very excited about that. And if you if you're a big comic book geek, this is the first time we'll see the the scrolls which are a pretty well-known comic book villain. They're not that well-known in mainstream uh, awareness, but they're, they're these shape-shifting aliens that, that have proven to be fairly uh, vicious uh, <laughs> antagonists for the various Marvel heroes. So for a while, people, were, people thought it was uh, tied up with Fox, I think Fox's uh, assets. I've but never heard of them. They're, uh, yeah, no, they're, they're more like villains for the Fantastic Four. Okay. Anyways, uh, for more of these stories, check us out on CNET. I'm Roger Chang. I'm Ben Fox Rubin. Thanks for listening. We're about 20 seconds over. That's pretty good. We're considering. We're hitting our mark a little better this week. 
I love how every episode ends with you guys like critiquing how badly you did. (laughs) 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 We almost made it this time. I wish I was kidding. That was a no, that, that was, was a that was a bad show. That was a terrible. That show terrible was show, awful. Yeah. Do we still have people watching? Hey Roger, what's a scroll again? A sc- oh, I heard scroll. 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 Did I say that wrong? Scroll. S K R U L L. Yeah, that's scroll. what I said. Okay. Did I not pronounce that correctly? No, I but just you I misheard. All over I misheard you. Sorry. <laughs> it, it's a race of shape shifting aliens that are, I think, one of the big powers in the Marvel cosmic universe. Mm-hmm. Uh, and have shown up time and time again uh, as as key antagonists uh, for various Marvel heroes for the yeah. Avengers. I, I don't know anything about that. I was happy to see Infinity Gauntlet. I will say show up. Uh, that was an old school. So Marvel like a thing. bit of trivia, like the original Avengers movie with the, the alien invaders coming in. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of folks thought the Skrulls would be the the big alien antagonist or villain coming in. Turned out there was a race called the Shatari, which was I'm really gonna get geeky here. Uh, which was the ultimate Marvel Universe version of the Skrulls. Uh, and they, I think they did that because they had, I think Marvel at the time may not have had the legal rights to use the Skrulls because Fox might have owned them. Interesting. Yeah, I I'm thought, going down a whole rabbit hole here. I thought I was a comic book nerd, but apparently not. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, yeah, I, I think I just went down this rabbit hole one day. I'm like, wow, this is actually kind of interesting because it had like, there were legal implications and there was and then there was the, the whole background of the comic books and the history of these villains. Anyways. I, I used to have the like the old Marvel cards and like the the different yeah like there were these different big characters cards for all the different characters. Yeah, yeah. You know how many characters they have? They have hundreds, if oh, not yeah. thousands of oh, characters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm waiting for the Watchers to show up again. You know what those guys are the, with the yeah. giant the yeah, giant, the giant heads, heads that just watch everything. Well, they were in uh, the Guardians too, the sequel. Oh, at like the very end. Like a, no, really briefly. I think when they were hop like mm-hmm. when Raccoon and uh, they were like hopping from place to place. I think one of the places they stopped, they like. Turned into the watchers and uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> they were like, "Hey, what's up?" And then yeah, they yeah. Left. <laughs> it was a little cameo there. So, huh, anyways, I'm sure our questions are not Captain Marvel related. Uh, Brian, what what do we got? I mean, I could talk about Captain Marvel all day and how I think it's an injustice that we're getting Captain Marvel before we're getting Black Widow. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, you got. It's been Black years Widow. of Black Widow buildup with no movie. I want that movie so bad, it hurts. Mm. Uh, anyways, from Sir Enjoy, welcome back, BFR. What's Thanks. up with the polo? Looks like you're going to go out for a beer after the show. I will be going out. It's <laughs> very it. hot. Sir Enjoy. It is really hot here. It's very hot. I, if I didn't have, if I hadn't had a media hit earlier today, I probably would have been wearing a polo as well. Yes. To be fair. Enjoy. All right. Enjoy the bare arms. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Uh, what? In, in other words, Matthew Datcher says, uh, "Max excess money." That's what that stands for. Max XS money. Money is the, the iPhone Max XS money. Get it? Get it? I'm not getting I'm it. I'm not getting it. No. Excess money, as in you're spending excess money oh, on Apple right. products. Oh right, your Max Excess uh. money. Yes, you're right. You guys are way too clever for us. People are clearly so, people people are time still going to buy the living hell out of this phone. They're just gonna buy it. They don't care. I, I mean, like People this buy is it. this yeah. is a really you you what is it like the Droid line of phones had really like oh, the similar droid. names. Oh yeah, yeah right yeah. where it was like the Droid Ultra, Karate the, Chop, the Droid Turbo. I think there was a Droid Max. Yeah, at one point with yeah. two X's. I just I want to say I don't know. I don't understand what they're doing with their naming. I'm just surprised they didn't use Plus again. I feel like everyone kind of was comfortable with the uh, the Plus. And everybody right. uses the Plus. Maybe um, Apple is now trying to switch over to something else because Samsung uses Plus. Doesn't Google use Plus, or do they use Max? I don't uh, remember now. Pixel, no, Pixel uses the XL. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they weren't going to do that. Then it would no. be the iPhone XS XL. Ooh. Extra that small, would be extra worse. large. Yeah. <laughs> Super confusing. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> By the extra medium. Sunjoy says, if XL means extra large and XS means extra small, wouldn't XS Max cancel each other out and just become an iPhone X? He's yes, totally right. He's totally, that's 100% correct. He's totally right. This the is, logic of this phone is, uh, yeah, it's a little dubious. I, again, you gotta remember, though, I guess we have to, they'll probably pronounce it 10S, even so though everyone stupid. else will say XS. But what's going to happen next year? We're going to have to write the story XS of, like, what's going to. Oh, God. XS3? No, no, it won't be is X. Is it Roman numerals? Maybe it's Y. <laughs> iPhone Y? I don't know. 
Listen, why are we still talking about I don't Apple? Know. <laughs> Sean uh, Vega Velez is calling you out, and your BS said, "How could you know so much about Marvel and not catch that Apple pun?" Uh, that's really that's. I don't I have know. a blind spot for random puns. I, I think our why. minds are still kind of slogging after yesterday. To be that honest. is a fair point. My brain is working at half speed today because of all the like the six plus hours of congressional hearings that we had to listen to that that Ben got out of. Yeah, because he was. I was watching my kid. And eating sauerkraut. Mm-hmm. And we went to the, yeah, somehow my kid ended up in Berlin all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm very happy. I didn't have to I, yes, watch all that. Yeah, you were, uh, you were very, very fortunate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, so Yippie Skippy on the new phone. We'll see where that takes us next week. Uh, let's talk about Amazon for a second because I'm glad you guys covered that as a story today because that actually happened to me last night. Um, I was... I forgot what the hell I was even shopping yeah, for. Yeah, what were you going to buy? You I don't know, I, no, because, because you replace, couldn't search for it. Well, I was looking for shoes, and I just kept getting bagel. So, like, did what was the, end, the long story on this one, Ben? Like, there, I, I don't, I don't know that it crash, came they out. They didn't really disclose anything? They didn't really disclose it, actually. They, they, they tend to avoid yeah. disclosing this stuff. Like, I remember with Prime Day, they had this huge screw-up where people well, they, weren't able to access the they, website. Well, they, all they saw were the dogs, right? Yeah, they all the saw dogs the dogs of the, the, Amazon employees or something. And I asked the chief financial officer during like an earnings call with reporters and he finally like he had a statement ready, but this was like well over a week or a week and a half afterward. He was like we had a like a rush of traffic and that's what ended up happening and it, you know, kind of really screwed up the website. So with this one, again, why it happened randomly in September, it's hard to say, but yep. a- a- Amazon tends to keep this stuff pretty quiet. It's also newsworthy because it doesn't really happen that often. No. no. So, uh, you know, it's it would be very bad and unfortunate if this started to come up more often. I had two random friends, like, text me about that. And just the fact that they were texting me about, like, Amazon errors, I mean, that's how kind of... They're not techie people at all, so... Mm-hmm. Like, what, what's going on with Amazon? Why yeah. can't I buy whatever the heck they were going to buy? People want to buy stuff on Amazon, and that's how really? Amazon... all the time. That is how they became, br- briefly, a trillion-dollar company, yep. is, is that you have a robust website that doesn't fail all the time. And this is twice already we're seeing in only a couple months. So I don't know what's going on here. So I have a serious question for you. How how long do you think it took Bernie Sanders to come up with the Bezos Act? Oh, name? God. Uh, that is eight, and and you know what I like about staffer. it too, he he gets to write stop Bezos and it's all capital letters yeah. Bezos. So okay, it's it's granted this is Washington D.C. So the names don't really make sense to begin with, but this one is a real gem. That one actually kind of works. I don't works, actually right? understand what it means. It stop bad employers by zeroing out subsidies by basically eliminating. The subsidies, or okay, fair. having the employer pay the subsidies that the government employees. subsidies, government subsidies, yes. Okay, that does actually make more it sense than makes I sense. thought. That's why, I like, there's a lot of thought that was put into this name. They're like, how do we fit these words into Bezos? Yes, yes, so, and and it's okay. It's worth throwing out there that he was making a big stink about their fulfillment centers. He yes. asked to go to a fulfillment center. Amazon had recently called him out and said. We were in touch with your office. We invited you to a fulfillment center. You haven't gone to one yet. Mm. So amid all of this, it's important to recognize the fact that like he's he's complaining up and down about um, working conditions and all that other stuff, but he he still hasn't actually well, visited I mean, one of these I mean, locations. Yes, but I mean this this act isn't necessarily true. It wouldn't address working conditions. It would work. It would address pay, right? And so, or the the lack of pay, the fact that some employees still need government assistance even though they have a job and maybe some of them are part-time workers that that's kind of obscured right so mm-hmm. um i don't know if that i feel like that's amazon you know throwing that out there to uh i guess mix up the argument or the debate a little bit um but this this has nothing to do really with working conditions this yeah. is more about pay yeah, um, I I think it's an important issue to bring up. I mean, like these are the people that get your packages ready, and right. you know how this stuff gets delivered, and um, you know the the pay. I guess a lot of people would think that it's perhaps too low. Amazon claims that you, they have very competitive salaries right. within the mm-hmm. warehouse uh, industry. So it it, it depends. Who, who you're looking at from this perspective. Right. I, I don't know if Amazon's actually going to end up doing something about this. 
Um, but I remember Walmart also had to deal with a lot of these issues mm -hmm. back when they were very much in the spotlight. And, and I mean, this this act does target Walmart as well, or would theoretically mm -hmm. target Walmart too, because they've got a lot of warehouse employees. Yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see how far this actually goes. I mean, like with Republicans controlling Congress, I don't actually imagine yeah. Yeah. it's going to get that much attention. But Bernie Sanders is definitely getting attention for himself sure. for this. And that, look, that name is that's going to get attention, right? <laughs> Stop Bezos. It's a pretty ingenious name for an act. There's another situation that's coming up. I think later this month, Jeff Bezos is planning on making a big announcement of where he's going to give away all of his money, you know? So, like, he's oh, going right. to do, like, this big right, philanthropy right. push. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. is that going to help him in this situation? I don't know. Mm. It's it's not directly related. I, I mean, it's not like he's giving the warehouse workers his money. Right. As much as I think that would be a really good idea. <laughs> that would be great. It's like I'm giving all 16% well, of Amazon to the warehouse uh, workers. I mean, he could set up a program for like scholarships, aid, whatever, educational resources. He's not going to do it. He's but not going to do it, yeah, but that would, that would actually be, be nice. pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, do we have more questions, yeah. Brian? Well, we got a few more. Uh, let's steer away from Amazon. It sounds like people are still having trouble with the site this morning. Apex really? dogs. Uh, Srinjoy is wondering if they've just straight up changed the format of the site. Uh, hmm. I haven't been to it yet. Uh, again this morning um, outside of the quick research I did for our b-roll but like I, I didn't really notice any drastic changes but we'll have to keep looking into that um, sounds like they might be doing like an overhaul on the back end and that's causing the problems if that's the case could be, it could be yeah they but they do those that. all the time it could be regional too because I'm not having any issues with it right now hmm. The thing right. is, is that they fix up that website constantly, and these types of things don't tend to percolate to the consumer. So, um, yeah, it's obviously problematic if you want to buy stuff on Amazon and you can't. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, swinging back into iPhone territory, just for a brief second, uh, Apex says, ever wonder how phones are named? The PR department writes words on a paper, stick it in a hat, picks a number, pull out as many pieces of paper, voila. Brand new name for a device is born. I feel like they do that all over the place. Like oh, uh, yeah. one thing I really hate is anytime I love working with David Carnoy here, but anytime he brings a product, it's a it's the Bose XF twenty seven hundred. Those names are so model awful. silver. Well, that, like, so it, the name convention of text sucks. So going back a bit, um, back uh, like past the two thousands when we were at flip phones, I remember the naming conventions were like that. It was like the VX one hundred or the VX twenty five fifty. The Nokia 53, whatever, the 5300. Um, I think Just it was call until, it the banana phone. Well, no, it wasn't until the, the Motorola Razr came out that they kind of, I think that changed things when like people started associating Razr with cool. Mm -hmm. Other brands started uh, copying that. You had phones like the Blade and you had phones like, I don't know, the, I'm drawing a blank, the Pearl. Um, actual names. And then now we're like in this weird I feel like we're in this hybrid again where it's like names plus numbers and the numbers sometimes make sense or in this case may not make sense. But I don't know. It's I do wish the tech industry would get a little bit more creative with their names. Uh, what do you think the chances are? I mean, this is a silly question, but so Apple moved away from I this, yeah, right? They yeah, do yeah, yeah, iPad, yeah. iPhone, Apple but now phone? they do. Yeah. When do you think that could ever possibly happen? I don't know. That's... Um, that would make sense given what they've been doing with like everything else. Product services are all adopting the Apple name, but uh, the iPhone is such a uh, it's such a household name. It is it, you know you it's hard for me to see them give up the the brand equity for mm -hmm. that name. Like, it's I just, just so wonder. Well known. I wonder if they painted themselves into a corner with like these ridiculous iPhone names. Where if in fact it is the iPhone XS Max. What the hell are they supposed to do next year? iPhone the, XS Max Plus 2. Right, Double Roman X. numeral 2. So in theory, and no, this isn't going to happen, they could do a full refresh of the name, call it the Apple phone next year, and then the Ooh. Apple phone 2 the year afterwards. Intriguing. Remix. Super simple. Super simple until they get to the 10th one and they name it the Apple Phone X and ruin everything again. <laughs> and they go back to the iPhone. <laughs> right. iPhone Classic would be the next year's model. Yes. Yes, we've solved the problem for, <laughs> the, right, next for the next 30 years. Next 11 years, Apple, we've got you covered. Give nice. it time. Hey, just a reminder, Microsoft did it first with the Xbox One XS Plus. Oof. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wait, what? XS. Well, I no. may be exaggerating slightly. Uh, yes. Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One. One, Xbox, Xbox One, One X. X. 
and oh, one, one S. S and one X. You're yeah. right. The Xbox One X. Uh, yeah. Just That's proving a lot of all tech naming conventions suck. Listen, we're almost out of time, but Ricky B says they should just start naming stuff and model by like model year, like cars do. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Datcher's wondering if Apple's going to do with the iPhone what they did with Mac OS and just start calling it OS X forever. Um, that is an intriguing that'd be the concept. Simple, smart way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they did that with the iPad for a little while. Um, it's harder to do the year naming convention since they've got like two or three models each year now. So it's not as simple as like the one model. And keep in mind, car models, even though there's like the Honda Accord, it's also the Honda Accord SE or XLE yeah. or whatever. There are multiple trims to those cars. So yes. they also have their own confusing name. I have a Honda legends. Accord XS Max at home. So Is it also a thousand dollars only or <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a thousand dollars. It's all aluminium. <laughs> Listen, right. we, the, the concept of bad naming conventions, the irony is not lost on this show. So just want you guys to yes. Ooh. Um, Oh, yes. Also, oh. one quick correction. Uh, pointing out to you, Roger, that Black Panther was not the first African-American superhero. That credit goes For, to Blade. Uh, oh, you, that's Alex true. Oh. Fair enough. Oh, You're right. Good point. I stand corrected. But that was 20 years ago, so You're that's right. like doesn't You're count right. anymore, right? Not well, only that, I, I, but I, I, there were multiple Blade movies. Blade did I actually say it was the first African? I, I, I just said it was you more said it was of a cultural. You said it was a big deal. It was a big deal. It was a cultural moment, and it was. But credit where credit do play did it first and well Credit i would say that Snipes. black panther uh given the fact that it was almost an entirely african-american cast as opposed to blade um there was more of a cultural significance I, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna downplay blade because i actually like blade a lot i agree with you i yeah. agree with you. just 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 yanking your chain a little bit all but right we're out of time we gotta we're go out of time for the week all right if you like this podcast it's available on itunes tune in stitcher feed burner google play music uh, Amazon Alexa, of course, CNET.com. We'll see you all next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, I know. <laughs>